Hey everyone, how's it going today? Today is Tuesday, January 11th, and I wanted to kind of come back with you guys uh, to go over what I left off on yesterday. So yesterday we had closed out one of our SPY credit spreads, and looking back on it now, you think kind of foolish for it because we've rebounded in the opposite direction, but you don't know that when things are crashing. But that's also why we didn't exit out of the other two positions. Uh, We still had some time to let them roll. So just to show you, we had that uh, extra $700 uh, in buying power come in from that $1,700 transfer and then the $100 from yesterday. Take a look at the positions. These are two SPY credit spreads. If this one right here gets anywhere close to, you know, the negative one dollar mark you know where it's pretty much achieved all of its value i'll probably buy to close that one if the market keeps going up right now so right now just looking at the spark lines all our regular positions are looking up right now which is nice considering we took a hit the last couple days um so that's where we're sitting right now if we go over to e-trade for our firm position So right now that's sitting pretty stable. I haven't actually checked the price on it. <clears throat> AFRM. So firm's having a good day. It's sitting at $81. So far, we've tested that $75 level probably twice since I've opened it up, but it's been bought up real quick. Um, if you're just looking at this, you know, we did get the gap fill here. I didn't think we'd get a gap fill when we were sitting up here, but we got a gap fill, and there was clearly buyers waiting for it. So we'll see what happens. This this could be a turnaround for a firm. I, you know, the RSI is indicating oversold. Um, this looks like it could be a potential inflection point. So we'll keep watching. Like I said, I wouldn't mind if I got assigned at $75, but... Even if this decides to take back off, you know, we got a good amount of premium for it. So, the other thing I wanted to go over real quick was we're kind of sitting on the sidelines right now, you know, with this bear sent- sentiment in the market and a little bit of uncertainty. So, there was a few options we had. And the first one I was thinking about is we could buy puts on tech stocks and <clears throat> I decided I'm not going to buy puts on tech stocks mainly because a lot of tech stocks have sold off and intuitively speaking if you're going to have a good risk profile on a position you want to buy low and sell high or you know if you're taking a short position sell high and buy low so it, it wouldn't make sense to start a short position on things that have already sold off quite kind of you know a little bit um so the other options we had were to write call credit spreads and i decided against that too for the time being at least because i really feel like we are uncertain where the market's gonna go next i think it's kind of in limbo waiting for you know these fed numbers to come out Um, and with Jerome Powell talking, he could F things all up. So I I think for us, the best hedge is to keep our cash on the sidelines right now. And granted, it's not a lot of cash. Um, you know, it's what, just shy of a thousand bucks. But I think what we're going to do is we're going to wait for inflation numbers to come out to see how the market digests that and then we'll consider um the spread option again or um we may even save up a little more cash to uh sell covered calls on a smaller position or sell puts um and kind of an attractive one i've been looking at lately is uh matterport you know, we're look. This is another one of those where we really went down low. Um, 
so I was thinking about maybe selling puts on something like this. Need a little more money, but um, it's another option. The thing about selling puts over uh, your uh, put credit spreads is if you set your your sell puts up right on stocks that you would like to own at that price anyways, you can't lose. You're, you're either going to lower your cost basis on getting into that stock if you get assigned because you're collecting that premium or you're going to just collect the premium and it's you know a good chunk of income. So if you're playing it right with your sell puts, you can't go wrong. Whereas with the, the spy credit spreads, you know, you get some volatile days in the market, you could be shook out of, of a position pretty quick, you know, and take a decent loss relative to what you're bringing in. So that's where we're at today. Uh, today's Tuesday. I think we get CPI numbers tomorrow. Um, so for the time being today, we're just going to sit tight. And uh, I think we'll come back tomorrow after CPI comes out and we'll address our game plan. So if you guys could, uh, comment down in the below what you guys are doing in this market right now, how you're preparing. If you could like, that helps the algorithm a lot. And uh, if you could also subscribe and we'll see you on the next one. Thanks.